More information about Lady Mariko's past and her father's treachery of a previous Japanese king prior to the Taiko can be found in Shogun Episode 6. The episode discloses that Ichiba no Kata, whose birth name was Ruri, and Mariko were childhood friends and allies. It also provides background information on the events leading up to Mariko and Tota Buntaro's marriage. The narrative is going to escalate to a bloody clash between Toranaga and Ishido's forces, while Shogun continues to delve into the ongoing covert relationship between Mariko and Blackthorn in some of its more tender moments. While Lady Ichiba has so much power over Lord Ishido in Osaka, Lady Ichiba views Ishido and the Council of Regents as placeholders and puppets until her son, the heir of the Taken, comes of age. Technically speaking, Ishido shares the power of rulership among the Council of Regents, which has its various complications and systems of checks and balances. Lady Achiba does not actually acknowledge the shared rule of the Council of Regents as superior to that of herself and the young heir. Lady Achiba views Ishido and the Council of Regents as placeholders and puppets until her son comes of age, which is exactly the system that the Taken had established before his death. This is why Ishido essentially does Lady Achiba's bidding, since he also acknowledges the Council of Regents' lack of legitimacy. Ishido kills the one member of the Council of Regents, Sujiyama, who stands in his way of impeaching Toranaga. This aligns with the interests of Lady Achiba, who likely ordered Ishido to kill Sujiyama. In future episodes of Shogun, either another new member of the Council of Regents will have to be established in order to impeach Toranaga and sentence him to death, or Toranaga will wage his war in Osaka by then. One thing that is clear about Lord Toranaga is that he has continued to keep his secret heart concealed. However, Lady Achiba's awareness of his tactics could present challenges for Toranaga and Shogun. Achiba no Kata, or simply Lady Achiba, is based on the Sengoku princess Yodo no Kata. Among the samurai princesses who lived during the Sengoku period, perhaps none led a more dramatic life than Yodo no Kata. She was born as Aichacha. Her father was the warlord Azai Nagamasa, and her mother was Oichi no Kata, the younger sister of Odanabunaga. Yodo no Kata was the concubine and second wife of Toyotomi Hideyashi and was the mother and guardian of their only son, Toyotomi Hideori, Yuchiyo Nakamura in Shogun. The background information on Shogun Lady Achiba is incredibly consistent with that of Yodo no Kata. The highest-ranking woman in Japan, Achiba no Kata is the feared and admired mother of the heir. As a consort to the late take men the only one to bear him a child, she wields significant political influence in Osaka. As history would have it, Yodo no Kata would spearhead the final attempt to thwart the rising shogunate of Takigawa Ieyasu, Lord Yashi Toranaga in Shogun, before the perilous siege of Osaka, which is where the plot of Shogun final season 1 episodes appear to be heading. Lady Achiba's original name was Ruri, which translates to lapis lazuli in Japanese, a popular ancient gemstone that is one of the oldest naturally occurring stones known in existence. According to Nameberry, it was a common Japanese tradition to name children after gemstones, with the intention of protecting them from evil spirits. Lady Achiba went by Ruri throughout her childhood until her father was murdered by Mariko's father, and her life would be forever changed. While Ruri is the daughter of the murdered Lord Kuroda and Shogun, the real-life Yodo no Kata was not the daughter of Odanabunaga. After Mariko's father assassinated her father, Ruri's early existence as a princess was all but ruined, but she remained determined to move back up the social ladder and regain her position of advantage and power. Among the Taken's numerous consorts, she was chosen, and amazingly, she was the only one to be able to bear him a son. She became unquestionably powerful after giving birth to Uchiyo Nakamura, making her one of the most powerful people in Japan at that time. No being the princess daughter of a fallen emperor, Ruri was now a Chiba no Kata, the mother of the heir.